Slidell and St. Paul's fight it out for the district lead. Plus, a rivalry is renewed as East St. John heads to Hanville. And would De La Salle or St. James stay unbeaten in District 10 3A? That and much more tonight on 4th Down Friday. From Channel 4, this is 4th Down Friday, presented by your Southern Quality Ford dealers. Let's start off in the Catholic League. John Cur Curtis hosting Holy Cross. The Patriots aiming for a 17th straight victory in district play. Pats already up 3-0, second possession on offense. Three-play scoring drive cap by one-yard touchdown by Corn Red and 10-0 Curtis. 17-0 now, Curtis. Colin Guggenheim with time, couple pump fakes, lets it fly. Javon Davis back of the end zone, 21-yard score. Curtis cruising 24-zip. Pats dominating in all phases. Tigers punting. Corey Wren fields it, sheds a couple of tackles, and he's throwing up the deuces. 65-yard punt return for a touchdown. The Pats scored on every possession in the first half. Curtis stays unbeaten. 17 in a row in Catholic League play. 46-21, your final. The season is flying by, week eight in the metro area. What up? Welcome to Fourth Down Friday. I'm Ricardo LeCompte. We'll get to our game of the week in just a few minutes. You won't want to miss Slidell and St. Paul's as they went down to the wire. But first, we'll head to Tad Gormley Stadium. Thibodeau and St. Aug taking a week off from district play to meet up tonight at Tad Gormley. The Purple Knights already up 20 to nothing after a quarter of play. Second quarter, Trevon Woodson goes deep. Kai Matthew pinpoints the ball at the highest point, and then he cruises in the end zone. 69-yard touchdown. Nice. 26-0 St. Aug. We move late into the third quarter. Same score. Woodson and Matthew hook up again, this time for a 17-yard touchdown. Purple Knights shut out the Tigers. 33-zip. A final arbitration hearing will take place between the LHSAA and Andrew Robinson's family sometime in the next two weeks in St. Charles Parish. Robinson remains ineligible to play for the Tigers. Homville dealing with those off the field issues. Meanwhile, on the field, it's looking to right the ship after a one and four start. The Tigers have won their last two and they try to get to 500 with a win over East St. John. The Wildcats fighting for their playoff lives. They need a win over a Homville tonight. The Tiger Stadium we go. First quarter, East St. John quarterback Sean Shelby. It's a wide open Dante Fleming. That's an easy six. Wildcats will miss the point after, so it's 6-0 East St. John. Hanville trying to get something going by Andrew Naquin, but he gets picked off by Kendrell Holmes. He cuts it back. Gets a couple of blocks, throws a stiff arm. Tiptoes the sideline and he scores the 40 yard pick six after the two point conversion. It was 14 zip East St. John. Second quarter now, Wildcats looking for more, but Trey LeBranch jumps the route and gets himself an interception and a good return into Wildcat territory. It would lead to this for Hanville. Jaquan Johnson, the snap, nice spin move. He gets into the end zone, but it was the only time Hanville will find pay dirt. Wildcats take this one 21 7. Undefeated Country Day hosting Ben Franklin and Old Metairie this afternoon. Cajuns knocking on the goal line. Justin Ibietta, the fade to Christian Becknell. And check out this catch. You got to see it one more time. Becknell tips it to himself, able to control it with one hand, corral it in. Great catch. Country Day in control. It goes up two scores later. Nikki Corciani with the short touchdown run. Cajuns roll to a 48 7 win. They're 8 0 on the year. Coming up, we'll head to Vashry, where the winner of De La Salle and St. James would hold a huge advantage when it comes to potentially winning District 10 3A. Those highlights and more coming up, but first, some scores from around the metro area. 